I want to talk today about imagination, not about the shitty background I have if you, like Messi, if you uh, watch this, <laughs> not. Or uh, I want to talk about imagination because it's very important, very, very important. I had to go all the way spending, like working for three years in the forest and doing all kinds of stuff to realize how important is imagination. So here it is. <laughs> Of course, I had it inside. You have it inside. And uh, why is it important? Because everything you're thinking or imagining, which is kind of the same, you become. You are. So if you think your life is horrible, it is horrible. Or it will be more horrible. If you see yourself suffering all the time, then you're just going to suffer more and more. If you complain about everything, which... I did for a while, working on it. Um, then, and the world sucks, everything sucks, then you will be more and more miserable. So you, you see what I mean? So there is a difference, there is something that, that is to not do. If you imagine you're sick, you're going to be sick. More sick. Uh, or you're sick all the time. Like, everything is like that. If you think you're addicted to things, and you can start saying I have an addictive personality, then uh, even yes, you're going to be addicted. The opposite of this is, I was thinking about business, is Elon Musk, when he started getting into the space business, he said uh, it cannot be that difficult to build a rocket. Because that's the first thing he did, right? Build a rocket that can carry satellites before doing SpaceX and all. I mean, it was SpaceX, but it was not yet of uh, internet connection, for example, that he provides to the world right now. If you think about it, most people will say, uh, creating, getting into a space business is one of the most, I think this was so difficult, right? Yet he did it. And I know some of the investors that were with him when he did, and he said, it cannot be that difficult. So if you think, no, it's not that difficult, of course, when you start switching into finding solutions, like I'm going to hire... Great scientists, great physicists, like whatever you need to build a rocket and then experiment and experiment and experiment and do it until you have a rocket. Of course, you need the fuel to do that. And that's my second point about business is an, an imagination, right? When, you, when I raised funding, I, uh, I said always I communicated my imagination. I am going to build a video conversation community site called Seismic at the time. Uh, we were on Nokia phones and Ericsson phones, no iPhone. <laughs> that was a mistake. It's way too early, but I communicated that vision to the investors and I raised money. Why? Because they understood my imagination. I communicated it well, pretty much like I guess. Elon communicated to his investors, I will build a rocket. That's not even what he communicated. I'm sure it's more like the vision of here's what I want to do in space and why and how I make money and so on and so forth. And then you have people who start trusting you because they believe in your imagination that became a vision that you communicated. So you can hire people, you can have uh, volunteers at an event like we did. Uh, thank you, if you're watching. You can have uh, investors, you can have customers. You can also communicate a vision. This is all based on your imagination. If your imagination is crap, if you think, oh, I'm going to fail, and I want to create a business, but it, it's going to fail. Um, then you know what? First off, you will probably never hire anybody or never raise funds or not much or hire people who are not so good. I don't know. But I shoot for them, right? What, what is your manifestation, says uh, Eckhart Tolle. Yeah, I don't like it, to be honest. Manifestation kind of sounds like too spiritually. It's really your imagination. You are it now. You are that, 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 that. You imagine. If you imagine you're going to fail, you're going to fail. If you imagine you're going to succeed, you're going to succeed. It's not even you might succeed, you will succeed in a way or another. You will, and it depends on means, execution, 
how you can execute the people working with you. Sure. Like for, for Power Paris, we made it like I woke up one day and we decided with Magdalena, let's fucking sorry. Do it. Eight weeks, bam, 35 countries showed up. Sure, it's not perfect, but we did it. And it's great. I'm really happy we did. So imagine what you want as the outcome and then be that outcome for your business. It works really well. And if, if you think you're never going to, you cannot, I, don't you hear people saying, oh, I would like to create a company, but I have no idea. Then you will not have any idea. <laughs> for sure. It works. Like, oh, I have an idea, but I don't know. I, I don't know how to raise funding, but you will not raise funding. Or I want to raise funding, but I uh, I don't know any good investors, then you will never meet a good investor. Or the good investors will not talk to you because that's how you vibrate. Oh, sorry, that's kind of spiritual stuff again. Like vibrate, right? So I took this imagination thing, I, I wrote about it today. And, uh, and then I, I, I was thinking, okay, well, this is no new to me, not new, because we, we actually were in a group with Greg, my oracle, if you read my newsletter. I, it's not my oracle, by the way. I, I like to call him the oracle because he likes to hide his name from everywhere. So he's the oracle in the matrix. You do not know who he is, right? Uh, anyway, so we had a group yesterday with him on Zoom, and he talked about making imagination real. So, like, whatever you imagine, you are it. It wasn't clear enough. If you keep thinking, if I keep thinking I suck, then I suck. But I don't. I can, why? Because I, I keep thinking differently. So it was just a reminder yesterday. I've been doing this in business all my life. Uh, and so I was thinking, but here is something new. Why I talk about it today is because I've done so much like consciousness work, right? That I talked to you about imagination that I, I've been thinking about and doing for years. But why? Because I realized today it's way more important than I thought. Way more. The power of thinking. Um, and, and so I thought, well, instead of applying to a business, which I was consciously doing, or unconsciously, but consciously doing, like I was giving this advice 20 years ago, if you want, well, think positive, kind, kind of. Like, but anyway, think, like project yourself. Visualize it. I thought, okay, how about uh, using it for yourself, for your self-transformation? And that, I didn't think about that much. But I was doing it too in the forest. Like when I walked with the chief Nishiwaka, I put a nice photo here on my post of Nishiwaka Yawanawa. He said something very deep. He said, don't ever talk bad about yourself. Never. Never talk in a bad way. Never say I suck. Never say I don't know how to do this. Never say never. Why not? Because if you do, you are imagining yourself that you like, I cannot do this. I cannot do that. I'm addicted to that. I, uh, you see what I mean? Like you create that and you are that. I cannot stay still while I meditate. I can pick, pick, pick whatever it is. That is so true. Indigenous wisdom is generally so good. Never talk badly about yourself because if you do, you're going to, you're going to be that. Like, uh, I don't know. I speak English with a bad accent and it's terrible. It's not. It's, it's me assuming. Some people assume that if I speak with a German accent or a Spanish accent or whatever accent, and you, I go to the US, then I suck. No. I always kept my French accent because uh, actually people told me, yeah, no, it, it's fun or we like it or whatever it is. But I decided uh, to give up on that accent or changing it. Never talk badly about yourself. And then, so imagine yourself. That's what I'm doing now. Or, or I've been doing it unconsciously. Now I'm doing it more, uh, more consciously. So more consciously means deciding I'm strong enough, for example. Uh, imagining that. So I do the, well, let's take something easy. Meditation, right? We have this uh, meditation yesterday we, we did uh, in the community call every Tuesday, 6 p.m. if you want to join. Soren Godhammer came and gave us a meditation. And if you start thinking, I'm going to fail, I cannot meditate every day, then you won't, 
right? So, so the, the opposite again is, yes, I can meditate every day. Yes, it's very easy to meditate. Super easy. And yes, there are benefits for me. If you think this way, then there are benefits for you. I, I will not get in the benefits now, but one of them is to be conscious <laughs> about everything. Like uh, meditate. Like right now, I'm conscious that I'm doing a video uh, with a shitty dark background that also goes on my podcast, and I have a beard that is weird. But I'm, I, you know, I don't know. I'm experimenting with that too. But you see what I mean? I'm conscious uh, while being uh, honest about this. So it's easy. It's easy to do that video and not caring about the background. That McDonald would say, like, how can you do a video with such a shit background? I don't care. Um, Imagine the best version of yourself. Imagine the best version of yourself. Some of the spiritual books would say the highest version of yourself. Even some people would call the divine self. I wouldn't go there. But I, I, I think that's what it is. And be that. And I fail often. doesn't matter. I, at least I, I'm heading towards that. Like not getting upset, not insulting people, not losing my consciousness, not um, not not doing things that harm people, not 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 not. You see what I mean? For example, or I could see the positive. Imagine the positive. Like, what do I want to be as a person as I am fifty? Well, calm, wise, um, someone that people can trust, honest. Uh, never lying. All of those things I could keep on and on. But like, if I'm starting imagining that person, that higher version of myself, then I'm, I'm it. I can be it right now. I don't need to wait for 10 years. I don't need another retreat, another year in the forest, another uh, 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 10 years in a monastery. I don't need that. It can be that right now. I don't know if I made my point clear, but I, I guess I did. Uh, there is no need for anything I don't already have. I have it. I wish someone told me that earlier. <laughs> or maybe I was not ready not to receive it. Don't talk bad about yourself. I was ready to receive it. <laughs> anyway, so I'll end up with I'll end this um, note with uh, someone asked me what's the first book that you should read. If you want to be conscious, I would say The Power of Now of Eckhart Tolle, which I, have, uh, uh, which I wrote about in 2000 and read in 2018. I read it twice. It's really good. Uh, then random stuff. We posted the first uh, talk from Power Paris. It's really good. So you should wa- might consider watching it. It's uh, from Zach Bell, The Religion of No Religion. It's on my newsletter. My newsletter, it's now on myname.substack.com, loiclemeur.substack.com. What changed is I had two newsletters I, I, and a podcast. That's too much. So I decided to put everything on one. Came back to that newsletter, loiclemeur.com. Now, my podcast is hosted there. If you use, if you already have a feed of my podcast on Apple or Spotify, don't change anything. I change it for you. And I was like, okay, but 15,000 people are subscribed to this newsletter. How can I, um, I, how can I keep posting every day? Because I like to post every day. And uh, I decided to do a paid subscription on Substack. Why? Because I want, I would like, I manifest, I imagine that it's going to work. And that way I can, I think, share to everybody that I can do the same. Many people have done the same, but well, you don't need me for that. But I, I'm doing this because this, I, well, I'll tell you later why it's great. But anyway, <laughs> it's so great. It's, it's a job for me. I see it as my job. Writing is my job and doing events, but that's my job. And uh, so every day I'm going to give something I think will be good, really important, or can be important, or for those who see it's important, like a gift to you. By email to those who subscribe 10 bucks a month expensive not expensive yeah, sure whatever you think it is it's an energy exchange i'm working a lot it doesn't matter i think it's a gift that is worth way more than 10 bucks a month um and some of you will see it some already do thank you for that but that's what i'm doing i'm exp- 
experimenting. Don't be offended. Someone posted, oh my God, you're going pain. I'm not buying a Ferrari with this. I am using every dollar that comes in to support the community better and uh, to do better events. That's the intention. So in case you're wondering where the dollar is going. But it's not about that. It's an energy exchange. If I pay for something, something then I, I care more about it. So I would like to be with a small group of friends that care more, that care, that tell me, no, like you could help me this way or not, or like that really helped, that didn't help. Because otherwise, you know, so that is my intention. So if you, if you think there is any value in what I write, share, do events, because of course, pet subscribers will have advantages in the events. And so on. if you think that, if you imagine that, that I have a good intention with this, of a small group of people I really will start to care, start, I already care about, then you might consider getting that subscription. 10 bucks. It's like a coffee, a really good coffee, I guess. <laughs> so all I'm asking is a coffee. If you think I can bring some value enough that you buy me coffee, then try that. If not, it's okay too. I will still post twice a week for now. I'm experimenting with this on uh, this 15,000 people newsletter. Anyway, I was too long on that. Then, uh, yeah, there is, uh, what did I not say? That's it. That's it. Thank you very much for listening. If you did all the way to the end, I would be, uh, I, it's an honor. So thank you very much. Uh, or listening to this on a podcast, reading it on the newsletter. Uh, this is all a big experimentation, but I, uh, I find it, uh, I'm a kid, you know, experimenting things. So you have a good day, good evening, and uh, talk to you soon.